and they worshipped the dragon which gave power unto the beast. And they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast, who is able to make war with him? And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies, and power was given unto him to continue forty and two months. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God, to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle, and them that dwell in heaven. Israelites, there is not a nonprofit organization, religion, government, financial system, corporation, education, military, and media that is not infiltrated by the kingdom of darkness. The kingdom of darkness is intertwined with everything in the beast system. The beast system is Satan's kingdom in the flesh. Satan used his children to run the beast system. Genesis chapter 3 verse 15 revealed to us that Satan has a seed. The scriptures went on to say that the Most High would put enmity between the two groups of people. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. The serpent seed are the children of the wicked one, and the wicked one is Satan. The scriptures refer to the serpent seed by many names. Another name given to the children of the wicked ones are tares. The scripture said in the book of Matthew chapter 13 that Satan was the father to the tares. Through the creation of the tares, Satan managed to increase the population of the serpent seed. The high level workers of iniquity that appear to control the beast system, the scriptures refer to these individuals as the synagogue of Satan. The high level workers of iniquity are known as principalities in the scriptures. Remember, the scripture said, we do not wrestle with flesh and blood, but with principalities and spiritual wickedness in high places. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 revealed to the people of the Most High of the multiple forces they are fighting against in the beast system. The book of Ephesians referred to one of these powers as principalities. Principalities are high-ranking demons. Principalities rule over certain regions. Principalities show up in the flesh in the form of presidents, royalty, and high-ranking leadership positions today. The time has come for you to go behind the scenes to unmask the spirits many people have placed over them for their leaders. You are used to viewing the high level workers of iniquity as flesh and blood. The scripture said, we do not fix our eyes on the seen things, but what is unseen. For we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal but the things which are not seen are eternal. Israelites, what do you believe the Most High is referring to when he said not to look at what is seen, but the unseen? Flesh and blood are the seen things, and they are temporary. The unseen, the spiritual things, are eternal. Spirits do not die. Just because principalities resemble humans in the flesh, this does not mean they are humans. There are many hybrids among us. The time has come for you to go deeper on your journey. The Most High warned his people to never set a stranger over them. Any leader that you set over yourself must come from your bloodline. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee. Whom the Lord thy God shall choose, one from among thy brethren shalt thou set king over thee. Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not thy brother. The reason the Most High warned his people of not setting a stranger or a foreigner over them to lead, the indigenous black people have set principalities over themselves. None of the leaders the indigenous black people selected to be king over them were able to lead them nor help them out of bondage. The leaders they set over themselves led them deeper into bondage. Until this day, the indigenous black people are fighting the same battles. 
The reason you're going around in circles, you are setting principalities and dark powers over yourselves. If you belong to the Most High, He is the one to lead you. The scripture said the steps of a good man are led by the Most High. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. A man's heart deviseth his way, but the Lord directeth his steps. The indigenous black people will continue to go in circles if they allow the kingdom of darkness to order their steps. The scriptures gave us an example of the Israelites setting a bad leader over them and rejecting the Most High as their king. When the Israelites went to Samuel and asked him for a king to be like the heathen nations, the Israelites unknowingly rejected the Most High as their king. Despite of the many warnings the Most High sent his people about setting a man over them as king, the Israelites made a poor decision which led them into bondage. And all the elders of Israel gathered themselves together and came to Samuel unto Ramah and said unto him, Behold, thou art old. And thy sons walk not in thy ways. Now make us a king to judge us like all the nations. But the thing displeased Samuel when they said, Give us a king to judge us. And Samuel prayed unto the Lord. And the Lord said unto Samuel, Hearken unto the voice of the people in all that they say unto thee. But they have not rejected thee, but they have rejected me, that I should not reign over them. King Saul was the example given to us of what every foreigner and stranger the Israelites and indigenous black people placed over themselves would become to them. King Saul was what the Israelites desire in a king. Israelites, be careful with what you ask for. Make sure what you ask match with what's in your heart. Remember the Most High look at your heart. When the Most High look at the heart of his people after they rejected him as their king, The Most High gave them a king after their heart desire. The Israelites believed the heathen nations were strong and the heathens had strong armies to fight for them. Nevertheless, the people refused to obey the voice of Samuel and they said, Nay, but we will have a king over us, that we also may be like all the nations and that our king may judge us and go out before us and fight our battles. The Israelites wanted to imitate what they perceived to be power and authority in the heathen nations. The Israelites did not realize that the heathen leaders they admire were wicked. The Most High gave his people a king according to their heart desire. The scripture says Saul descended from a mighty man of power. Saul's father was respected among his tribe, the tribe of Benjamin. Now there was a man of Benjamin whose name was Kish, the son of Abiel, the son of Zeror the son of Bekorath, the son of Aphiah, a Benjamite, a mighty man of power. Not only did Saul come from a family with influence and power out of the tribe of Benjamin, Saul had the appearance the Israelites desire in a king. And he had a son whose name was Saul, a choice young man and a goodly. And there was not among the children of Israel a goodlier person than he. From his shoulders and upward, he was higher than any of the people. King Saul fit the Israelites' flesh criteria. Like the heathens, King Saul's heart was wicked. Saul was just like the strangers and foreigners the indigenous black people have a history of setting over themselves to lead in the beast system. Saul's downfall was highly publicized in the scriptures as a warning to the Israelites. Too many Israelites desire for a nation like the heathens they live among, a nation where they are accepted and not oppressed. If the indigenous black people desires that come out of their mouths match with what their heart want, the beast system wouldn't exist. The scripture said they worship the Most High with their lips, but their hearts are far from the Most High. This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth, and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Most indigenous black people like the beast system and everything it represents. That is why when the truth is spoken, many Israelites and indigenous black people reject the truth. They refuse to listen. Too many indigenous black people do not want the freedom the truth gives to them. They rather listen to their oppressors to remain in bondage. If majority of Israelites and indigenous black people wanted to separate from the beast system, The road that leads to destruction wouldn't be broad. The scripture said many 
people will find the broad road that leads to destruction. Unfortunately, only a remnant will return and only a few will find the road that leads to life. The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty God. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. The only change some indigenous black people seek from the beast system is equality. They want to be accepted into the beast culture. If it wasn't for discrimination and racism in the beast system, some indigenous black people wouldn't have a problem submitting to Satan's kingdom in the flesh. The indigenous black people fight for equality instead of freedom. Fighting for freedom indicate the indigenous black people would have to become independent and take responsibility for their communities. A lot of indigenous black people are comfortable being in the heathen nations. That is why they want equality over freedom. Satan has deceived many indigenous black people to trade their glory for the lesser. Israelites and indigenous black people, whatever gift or blessings Satan give you in the beast system, the wealth, land, culture, power, and fame belong to you when the Most High gave you dominion. Satan repackaged the so-called gift and blessings to deceive you. Remember, the serpent seed stole everything they own. The scripture said the thief come only to steal, kill, and destroy. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. Begging the workers of iniquity for bread that already belong to you doesn't make sense. Why not become the people the Most High designed you to be to gain your authority back? Everything is temporary in the beast system. The scripture said the wealth of the wicked is being saved for the righteous. Everything they stole, they must return. Why admire your enemy's temporary treasures and dominion? A good man leaveth an inheritance to his children's children, and the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. The beast system is nothing but an illusion. There is not an industry in our society that is not controlled by the representatives of Satan in the beast system. The beast system is Satan's dominion in the physical realm. That is why the people of the Most High must separate from the beast culture. You will not find the Most High in the beast system. Everything that is accepted in the beast system is an abomination to the Most High. The beast system is lawlessness. The people of the Most High should not strive to be a part of a system that is designed for the wicked. The scripture said not to love the world or anything in this world. If anyone loved the world, the beast culture, the love of the Father is not in them. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. In the religion called Christianity, the high-level workers of iniquity built the foundation of the church on a popular verse of the Most High loving the world. They pushed that the Most High loved the world so much that he gave his only begotten Son, whosoever believed in him would not perish but obtain everlasting life. 1 John chapter 2 verse 15 said otherwise. The scripture said not to love the world or anything in this world. If you love the world, the love of the Father is not in you. The scripture is revealing that the beast system is not of the Most High, but of Satan. How can the Most High love the world that he's telling his people not to love? When the high-level workers of iniquity try to lure the sheep with John 3.16, the people need to understand the context to the word world in the verse. The workers of iniquity alter the scriptures to give the verse a different narrative. Israelites, I hope you're beginning to discern the importance of having the Holy Spirit to reveal truth and decode the scriptures to give you the accurate interpretations of the scriptures. Albeit when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Without the Holy Spirit, the altered scriptures will become a snare to you. Do not believe the lying interpretation from the familiar spirits that plague the beast system's number one institution that keep the indigenous black people in bondage, religion. Satan did not become the God of this world through a society that served the Most High in the spirit and in truth. Satan became the God of this world through deception, as well as his seed, 
and the indigenous black people who choose to follow the beast culture. The scripture said, Satan roamed this earth, patrolling his kingdom in the flesh to maintain his dominion. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. Not only does Satan roam the earth all day, every day, the scriptures say he prowls like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. When Satan became prideful and said in his heart that he wanted to be like the Most High, Yeshua said he saw Satan fall from heaven like lightning. He was cast down to the earth. It shouldn't surprise anyone that Satan roamed the earth looking for someone to devour. Some people don't believe Satan exists, nor does he influence the people to rebel against the Most High. The ancient fallen angel Satan has been sinning from the beginning. The scripture said that anyone who does what is sinful is of the devil. He that committeth sin is of the devil, but the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. To those who don't believe Satan exists and roam the earth, Satan has done a phenomenal job of deceiving you. A lot of people can't handle what is hiding in plain sight. If the Most High opened their eyes to show them the unseen things, many people would be fearful. The only way Satan maintained dominion in the physical realm is through the people who participate in keeping the beast system alive. Another mechanism Satan used in the beast system to keep the indigenous black people in an inferior position is the media. Religion comes first and the media is second. Israelites, that is why you must put on the entire armor of the Most High to stand against Satan's deceptions. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Israelites, it is important that you understand that he who owns the media controls the mind. The media is used in the beast system to fuel diabolical agendas for the kingdom of darkness. The media is used to mold your mindset. The media is used to cause confusion. The media is used to tear down the people who are disobedient to the beast culture. Religion is the kingdom of darkness number one device used to control the people. After religion, the media. Satan used the media to establish many covenants. Satan used the media to control the narrative. The satanic mainstream media speak for the people. The workers of iniquity in the media force you to side with the popular opinion. The scripture said, be careful with what is popular with the beast culture. What is popular with the beast system is an abomination to the most high. And he said unto them, ye are they which justify yourselves before men. But God knoweth your hearts, for that which is highly esteemed among men is abomination in the sight of God. The media shame anyone who don't conform. When the people do not rebuke the lies, they agree by default, giving the workers of iniquity an upper hand to deceive other people. Satan's puppets silence other voices through censorship. The kingdom of darkness know if the people allow the Most High to renew their minds, the stronghold they have on the people's mind via the media programming would end. A lot of indigenous black people do not know how the media severely impact their lives. Through false narrative, the media convinced many people to hate the indigenous black people based on skin color, false data, and one-sided stories. When the workers of iniquity attacked the people with biochemicals, they programmed the people to believe there was a pandemic. For three years, the people was forced to wear a face mask and social distance. Many people rebel and fight against the mandates. Fast forward to today, a lot of the mandates ended. Yet there is a large population of people who are afraid to remove the mask. The media did a good job of programming them with the spirit of fear. Israelites and indigenous black people do not underestimate the satanic media in the beast system. The synagogue of Satan know that it doesn't matter how small a person's platform is. If you are anointed and the truth penetrates the spirit of the people, the truth will set the people free. The people would no longer perish for a lack of knowledge. 
The workers of iniquity is aware of this. That is why they silence all opposing voices and increase their voice. The kingdom of darkness influenced all forms of media, print media, televised media, and social media. Controlling the media is how the kingdom of darkness control the people who are not deceived by religion. Regardless of the many methods the kingdom of darkness used to decrease the voice of the Most High, the truth was spread until the truth of the Most High's words is heard around the world. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. It was through the truth and the Most High igniting the spirit of his people, the prophesied awakening began. Satan need the media and the beast system to control the people. The Most High placed his spirit in his people to remain connected with the remnant. If the remnant interact and listen to the Holy Spirit, they will know the truth and the truth will make them free. And ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Israelites, you must unplug from everything from this beast culture to see what is hiding in plain sight. To comprehend the seen things and the unseen things, you must allow the Most High to renew your mind. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Fasting is the best way to unplug from the beast system. Fasting takes you to a deeper level with the Most High. While fasting, the Most High can nourish your spirit. Having a malnourished spirit in the beast system is dangerous. Only the Most High can repair the injuries done to your spirit. Israelites, we are living in the beast system. It doesn't mean we have to be a part of the beast culture. Just as the scripture said, although we are in this world, we are not of this world. You must ask the Most High to protect you from the dark forces in this world. Ask the Most High to sanctify you with his truth. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. The scripture says some have not because they ask not. Israelites, do not be afraid to ask the Most High for what you need to survive in the beast system. The children of the wicked one are constantly seeking the face of their idols and giving their idols sacrifice, fasting, and doing rituals to obtain the desires of their heart. The scripture says Satan roamed the earth every day looking for people he could devour. The people of the Most High should seek the face of the Most High for guidance. The remnant must commit to the Most High to get the result they want. Israelites, make sure your heart desires are in line with the will of the Most High. If your heart is right, there is no good thing will he withhold from you. The Most High will give you the desires of your heart. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. The time has come for the people of the Most High to learn the statutes, commandments, and laws of their Elohim to stand against the kingdom of darkness in the beast system. Satan will try to entice you by giving you your flesh desires in the beast system. Whatever Satan offer you does not have any value. Besides, you don't want any stolen goods from the kingdom of darkness. Reject all of Satan's deceptive offers. The gifts and blessings that awaits you for serving the Most High in the spirit and in truth is better than the worthless temporary treasures of this world. The Most High reassure his people via his words that eyes have not seen nor heard the things which the Most High prepared for them that does his will. But as it is written, I hath not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. Israelites and indigenous black people, unplug from the beast system by rejecting all of Satan's offers and covenants. Stand firm in the Most High and He will direct your path. Until your redemption come, trust the Most High with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. Praise ye the Lord. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart. In the assembly of the upright and in the congregation, the works of the Lord are great. Sort out of all them that have pleasure therein. 
His work is honorable and glorious, and His righteousness endureth forever.